Okay. Oh, no. Hi guys, welcome to Sec I C. Yeah, you should you should know by now, but um, yeah, we're City Sec five uh, one C three. Um, we're bona fide. So. <clears throat> Disclaimer, we exist as an educational entity. We do not condone any illegal activity. Um, go to conduct, too long, don't read, don't be an ass. Um, if anyone's bothering you, let us know, we'll take care of it, uh, board members. So just be cool. And on that same note, um, we stole this from Sec DSM and we stole it from Sec KC. Uh, challenge ideas, not people. So, um, you know, the, the, the whole point of this is to have a forum to discuss things um, and, and really, it's okay for you to challenge someone's ideas, to, to, to question, you know, what content, but, but it's not, don't make it personal. We're all, you know, we're all friends, treat each other with respect. Business in the front, party in the back. I love this song. So, business up here. We got food along the side. We have a bartender, so everybody make sure you, you know, get some drinks, tip the bartender. Um, so, yeah, we don't have to worry about uh, telling the people who are 21 and over that they can't drink anymore, because that's her job. Um, clean up after yourselves. So, um, you know, not a lot of cleanup to do, but just don't, don't leave trash around. Uh, bathrooms are back there, men's are right there. Um, there's a lot of new women, so. <laughs> uh, any first timers? First timers? Oh, shit. You're not. <laughs> All right, we got stickers over there. Rob's gatekeeping. Um, you have to fight him to get them, but uh, feel free to get a sticker. And, and yeah, even if you're not a first timer, I'll, we'll let it pass this time. Our sponsor this month is Machina. Uh, website is machina.cc. Uh, they make car hacking tools. Uh, Zach will be elaborating on that further, but they make the Machina M2. Uh, it's a great option if you're looking to get into car hacking. It works well with Savvy Cam, which is the open source car hacking tool. So, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Tonight's oh, I forgot to have the flashing. Tonight's agenda: Sec I C one and one. Late as always. Uh, then we'll do news. Then Cody, you're going first. Basic email security, and then Zach Zappis will be giving the long-awaited car hacking talk. It's uh, almost a year. Just about. Yeah. Yeah, Next month's agenda. We don't have anybody signed up, so you guys should sign up. Wait. So, um, you get a patch. yeah, you get a patch. As always, uh, you know, don't. It doesn't have to be groundbreaking. You don't have to have a, a no day. No day. Um, you know, <laughs> just share something cool. Share something you're working on. Share share a tool you like. Uh, Give me 15 minutes, you can have an hour if you want. But uh, yeah, we, we'd love to hear you hear you talk and um, you know, it'd be great to get some more people up here. So yeah, same slide. So yeah, again, we want people, this, this uh, you know, everybody here is a member of Sec IC. Um, we want people to be involved. You know, if you want to volunteer, if you want to, you know, help us out with AV, if you want to help us out get the news sometime, let us know. Um, we'd love to have people get more involved if you want to be. And again, this goes back to uh, imposter syndrome. So um, don't don't feel like you're not an expert and that you don't have anything valuable to say. You know, um, on the left there, that's whatever. You know, if imposter syndrome is you think that what you know, everybody else already knows it. But the reality is, everybody here probably knows something that nobody else in this room knows. So um, you know, if you've got a tool, if you've got something that you like to use, we'd love to have you up here and talk about it. So uh, these are your handsome board members. Um, get a hold of us on website secic.org. Uh, email really anything you send to at secic.org will land somewhere. Uh, our Twitter handle is at sec underscore IC. YouTube, bit.ly, secic underscore YouTube. We're working on getting that done. Um, really, the best way to get a hold of us is on Slack. Uh, oh yeah, we did have 90 plus last night, okay. Um, Anyway, sign up for uh, Slack, go to secic.org. You can see it at the top. There's a Slack link, or just scroll down. It's awesome. That's the best way to talk to us. Everybody, that's that's where we live. So do that. No gatekeeping lawyer either. Ask dumb questions. They do all the time. Yeah. We'd like more people to ask dumb questions. It'd be great. Upcoming cons. You may have heard of Derby Con. That's later. That's in a, a, like a week and a half. Uh, 
Wild West Hacking Fest, we got some people going to that one. DerbyCon, there are tickets popping up if you try want to try and get one. I saw one yesterday, it took four hours to sell, so they're getting available. Uh, Wild West Hacking Fest, I don't believe it's sold out yet, so if you want to head out to uh, Deadwood. And then um, I just put B-Sides Iowa. There's some other ones in between, but I think the next one that pretty much anyone from Sec IC is going to is uh, maybe CypherCon. I think is CypherCon before B-Sides Iowa? I think it is. Next year? Yeah. yeah. So CypherCon's up there. Stuff stuff starts to happen around April April and May. There's a handful of cons. There's thought cons early May. So um, really though, if you're if you're planning on going to your first con, you may have heard it before, Circuit City Con, beginning of June next year, you should do it. Speaking of cons, Secchia Seven has a conference scholarship uh, that extends to anyone here as well. Up there, you'll see uh, some pictures of all the, the great black badges that they won and one that we helped them with. So, uh, what they do with the what they do with the black badges is um, they make them available to anybody that wa wants to go to a con and uh, you know can't afford it first time something like that. Um, really, what they they've been trying to get people to, to sign up for these and uh, last one your con nobody else took it, so uh, we decided to. Be nice and give it Philly. <laughs> they did rather. So for those who don't know, a black badge is you uh, win, win a CTF, that's or right. on CTF, and then you get access to the con for a very bad. Yeah. So basically, they have two black badges to Circle City Con. So that's two people they can send to uh, Circle City Con. I believe they said they had a handful of people that uh, that put in for the DEF CON one already. But um, yeah, if you see, uh, go to that website. It has the details. Um, Submit something about, I, I'm not sure, I think they asked like, you know, why are you interested in it? So, some of the stuff like that, but, but put in for it. Um, worst case that happens, worst thing that happens is you don't get to go to the con for free, so. But you may get to go for free. All right, up next we've got the merch monger, the financial transparency report, and the news and jobs. Sure. Oh, what merch Okay. Merch monger. So we got we got merch coming up. <coughs> Kajit has wares, right? Uh, we got patches for sale for five bucks. Um, Sec IC blockchains. We still have a handful of these left. Uh, suggested donation of five bucks there too. Um, our last run of shirts did pretty well. I think we sold twelve. I want to say. You guys don't know. Never mind. I think it was twelve, right? Just nodding all uh, Also, if you're speaking, you can touch. Um, but we'll do another run of shirts, I don't know, next month or so coming up to get a, uh, I just did like the basic, hey, this is a cotton shirt. So we'll do like nicer thread shirts and some polos and female cuts and whatnot. Oh, I'm probably not. If there's anything in particular you guys want to see, let us know on Slack. Yeah, for sure. We got stickers. Uh, Mackinac has a bunch of stickers back there too. Uh, Jeff Mann donated some stickers from Security Weekly as well. Um, so grab those. That's really it for merch. Buy merch. It helps us. All right. So for everybody who's new tonight, we uh, are 100% transparent with our finances. Uh, as you can see, uh, last month, uh, the previous balance was $840. We spent $125 on pizza, and we also bought a stamp that we can use on the back of stickers and to help promote uh, Sec IC. Uh, Income that we had is uh, donations and badges, five dollars, uh, and then we uh, this month we were sponsored again by Machina. I really appreciate that. So the total income net gain of one hundred forty dollars. So that puts our bank account at around uh, nine hundred eighty-five dollars. If you have any questions about that, you can reach out to me, and, and I'd be happy to go over those uh, <coughs> with you. So next up, we'll go over uh, five news items in under five minutes. So the first news item uh, tonight is that uh, there was a security researcher who was looking at the, uh, the UN's uh, website and was able to find uh, resumes from 2016 all the way oh, up to uh, 2018 um, on their site. Uh, they, they were running a WordPre uh, WordPress website and uh, the WP admin folder was not secured so he was able to just traverse down there and pull them down. You can see uh, some of those are up there. 
Up next, you might have saw, so I think this happened yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. Uh, Zoho, which is a uh, company that hosts CRM, they also host email. Um, their domain was taken offline by their registrar. Um, what happened was their registrar, they had uh, three phishing complaints, um, I think in over a month or two, oh, two months, and uh, they had uh, actively gone out over two of them but the third one, they were still investigating them. And uh, uh, their uh, registrar, who uh, she tear and that said that they weren't quick enough and went ahead and disabled the domain. One of the uh, screenshots, so the one on your left is uh, the Twitter post from the CEO uh, saying, hey, we're trying to get a hold of Tiernet. These are the CEOs, uh, or the, the C-level uh, execs' names basically use your OSINT skills to uh, get their email addresses or phone numbers so we can contact them and kind of blow them up. And then on the, your right uh, is uh, actually one of Zoho's customers talking to TierraNet saying, hey, like, why are they down? And for some reason, uh, the TierraNet employee told that customer, here's why they're down. So that, that's kind of interesting that they would be willing to give out that information to somebody who wasn't verified to have that. But the whole story, don't you? <laughs> I guess that, yeah, I'm not gonna say either way. I don't know if we'll do that. Um, so, next up, uh, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, um, California enacted uh, one of the toughest um, or, uh, uh, new piece of legislature um, stating that uh, IoT devices needed to be, there was, they used specific wordage, uh, but reasonably uh, secure, they need to have reasonable security features or features. So whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, it's kind of up to interpretation. <coughs> a lot of security researchers were saying that it was too broad and we don't know what effects that may have. So I guess we'll see uh, how that happens or what happens in the future from there. Um, typically, California is one of the, those states that does some type of regulation and then the rest of the states kind of fall through. So keep your eyes and ears open on that and see what happens down the road. Uh, next up, uh, you might have seen this. So there was a um, company, uh, NCIX, who went bankrupt. And uh, what they ended up doing is uh, all, they're like, you know, they closed up shop. Somebody uh, went in and bought all their uh, infrastructure from them and they decided to try and sell it on Craigslist. Well, you would think, you know, the IT department before they sold that infrastructure would have, you know, wiped the disks or destroyed them. They absolutely did not do that. <laughs> so there was a security researcher who was like, oh crap, I think this might be it. Went out, purchased that, went out and looked and actually, yes, it did have customers' data. Uh, one of the uh, kind of flaky things that the person, the seller was doing is that they had actually sold access to that data to other people. And so when he was like, he was trying, uh, for some of the infrastructure, he was like, I'll sell you access to it because I've already given access to other people. So if you were in that database or whatnot, I mean, it's for sure been accessed, but we don't know by who. Um, these were actually some of the pictures, you probably can't see them, um, from, from those data, so there was credit cards, there was email addresses, I mean, first name, last name, address, it, it, everything was there. So, more of the story, I mean, hopefully, if your data, it, you need to trust who you're, who you're sending your data to. Don't send it to NCIX. And finally, you might have heard about this. Uh, if you had purchased anything from uh, Newegg in around the last month or so, um, your credit cards uh, could have been, comp most likely was compromised if you, uh, you purchased directly from them and didn't use something like PayPal. So if you're not familiar with the group, the group that was behind it is Magecart. Uh, Brandon from SecDSM did a really awesome tool talk on them. Uh, so if you get the time, definitely check that out. Basically what they're doing is they're putting digital online skimmers um, onto websites uh, via third-party JavaScript. So they were the ones who were behind Ticketmaster and British Airways. Uh, they didn't actually compromise their websites per se. <coughs> they compromised the, uh, the, the chat company that, was, that did, the, did their chat and whatnot. 
So they were able to load that JavaScript from that third party onto their website and get users information. Um, they kind of did the same sort of attack with the Newegg. They uh, ended up registering uh, <laughs> the man, I think it was NewegStats.com. And uh, I haven't read exact, I don't think they've released it yet, how exactly they got that, uh, the uh, JavaScript to load from Newegg's actual website, but it's pretty much the same thing. They have been uh, around for, I think, two years, but that lately they've been going after um, bigger targets. And I mean, in the past two months, they, they just had three. So I'm thinking, I think we'll probably see more. Um, I know if, if you can search, uh, actually take their JavaScript, and I'll show you how to do this in a talk sometime, and use it to search other websites, and you can just see hundreds of, of websites, smaller known websites who have been compromised. So that's it for the news. Finally, we have jobs. Is anybody looking for a job, or does anybody work for, their employer has a, a, a position open? Anybody looking? Everybody's happy? That can't be true. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> right. <laughs> Should we stop for recording for this part? <laughs> yeah, right. No, every. I'm trying to think if I've seen any. <laughs> Are you happy with your job? Or your boss? Don't be. But yeah, Zach. <laughs> All right. Well, we did really good last month, I guess, on jobs. We had several, but this month it's kind of a slow month. Now we're big, and everyone got employed. Right? And with that, talks are up next. Go ahead and get some pizza, guys.